with taking the square root of 90. So this is a question where we need to take the square root. So what is the square root of 90? Simplified in radical form. The thing that I notice on homework help is they have this huge um, solution, basically. Um, and they're saying that this is going to be positive or minus 9.48. So what I've noticed is you're not really supposed to write your square root of 90 in terms of a decimal number because typically for teachers, I notice that they want you to express your answer in radical form. And that's what the question is asking you, right? What is the square root of 90 simplified in radical form? So therefore, you need to express your answer in terms of radicals, not in the decimal form. Okay, so this is what I do. This is the easy, yeah, this is the easiest way to do it. So if you take 90, right, you're going to apply synthetic division and then you're going to simply divide your number. So it could be anything, right? It doesn't need to be 90. You're going to think of prime numbers, right, such as 2, 3, so easy numbers that doesn't really have any other factors except itself and 1, right, so as you can see, we know that 90 is an even number, therefore it's divisible by 2. That means you can divide 90 with 2 and get an exact result without any remainder, right, so if you have 90 divided by 2, that's going to be equal to 45, right, and right off the bat, I can see that 45 ends in a 5, right, any number that is divisible by 5 is going to be either ending in 0 or 5, right? So 45 divided by 5 is going to give me a 9. And then from there, I can see that 9 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 9 can be divided by 3 and you get 3. So what I'm trying to say here is you need to make sure that when you're dividing, it's going to be in terms of prime numbers. And the reason for that is because it's easier to group numbers if they're expressed in prime numbers as opposed to like 10 and you have to then you have like five, right? So just by looking at prime numbers, you can see that they're being grouped together in terms of a pair. And the reason why it's a pair is because you're taking the square root. And why is it a pair of numbers is because if you look at a square root, the index of, let's say here, of like 90, that's what we're trying to look for, is going to be two, right? That's why we pair the numbers as opposed to grouping them by three. Right, because if this was a three, if this was a cube root, therefore you're supposed to pair. Sorry, you're supposed to group the numbers based on three numbers in one group. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's why when you're taking the cube root, right, instead of grouping numbers based on twos, it's going to be three numbers. So you need to have another three over here to group them into three. So yeah, so you do synthetic division and then you have to divide this with prime numbers because it's easier to group them and then once you see that you're going to have square root of 90 and then you just basically have 2 so replacing 90 with 2 times 5 times 3 times 3 and you see right off the bat this is basically square root of 9 right 3 times 3 square root of square root of 9 so all you do is you take out or you factor out 3 right? Because that's square root of 9. Square root of 9 is equal to 3 and what's left inside is going to be 10. So that's why your final answer is going to be 3 square root of 10 and don't forget you still have the plus or minus because you're taking the square root of a number. So great. Um, yeah, even if you type this into your calculator, you're going to see that the radical form is going to be plus or minus 3 square root of 10. So yeah, I don't think this is even necessary. You just have to apply synthetic division and basically um, factor, not factor, but divide the numbers based on prime numbers. Okay, great. So, and as you can see, they gave a couple of examples below. Um, again, they're looking for the simplified radical, so it's not supposed to be expressed in decimal form. Okay, so solution is incorrect and answer is incorrect. Actually, solution and answer are incorrect. The square root of 90 is is equal to, okay, let me try to look for the plus and minus.
And let me just copy that. Great. Is equal to plus or minus 3, and you have square root of 10. Okay, because we're in this symbol. Okay, square root symbol. Yeah, I think it's just easier to read, so we're just going to copy this symbol. Okay, 3 squared of 10. Um, we must express our answer in terms of a simplified radical. As the question states, not, not in terms of decimal. Okay, solution is incorrect for this one.